Hi, my name is John, and I'm going to demonstrate my cappuccino fuzz right here. This is a harmonic percolator, which is an extremely rare fuzz box from the 70s. And uh, a few years ago, a guitarist named Steve Albini did a demo for a guitar magazine, and you can find that one on YouTube if he's walking around on stilts playing his guitar. Um, and this is the fuzz box he demonstrated, and a few people decided to trace the circuit, and they actually traced his particular version of the fuzz box. This one's close, but not exact to his his fuzz. Um, I used kind of a, a combination of two values from the Mad Bean schematic. Uh, Mad Bean has a stock version that has slightly different values. Um, I picked and chose uh, based on what components I had on hand and changed a few other things just because. Um, and it's got two diode clipping options. One is the stock setting. Um, this is the even setting on mine. And it's, oh, it's 1N, one one, uh, sorry, 1N695 germanium uh, diodes. And they're kind of a rare diode. Um, they sound pretty good. They're, um, they sound like a little box of angry bees. <laughs> and they've got a resistor on one side of the diodes that does that turns it into asymmetric clipping, which is, as you know, what tube amps usually break up with. And the other setting, I used a pair of OA126s, which are a diode I discovered recently. It's a germanium diode with a very high clipping threshold, about twice as high as what germaniums usually clip at. And I really like the sound of them, especially in this circuit. I think it makes it sound more like an overdrive, but it, it softens the clipping more than having a diode lift would. And I, I really like I really like that setting. But I'm going to demonstrate the stock setting first. This this is particularly um, interactive with your guitar's volume. The gain knob is actually just the input gain. It's the same as turning down your guitar's knob. But I'm gonna be I'm gonna be messing with my guitar's volume, and I'm not sure if that's gonna show up in the picture on the camera. But um, but it'll give you lots and lots of different shades of of distortion. Here's my clean setting. <laughs>
nice sweetening of the sound. And I'm going to switch over to the OA-126s now. This side is a lot louder. Um, out the gain knob actually caused some oscillation and this this will generate a lower octave so when it was oscillating I think that was part of just having just too much input so flipping around the germanium transistor reduced the gain uh, a little bit and seemed to make the circuit a little happier um, so yeah like I said check out Mad Bean pedals for the schematic and board and um, I highly recommend building this one